Welcome back to Jacob Clashes. We're back in on my main account with the shark onesie. Hey, I know it's tough. You don't have to tell me. But anyways, I noticed some bad attacks in my grandpa's clan war. So we're going to be going through and reacting to all those today. Let's get it started. By the way, we lost this war. <laughs> The first attack that I want to show is Gruss versus Fire God the second. This is a zero star, 43%. So let's go ahead and view this. It should be a fair fight. It's number nine versus number nine. And look, this guy has all his potions. What I assume to be is a Blizzard Hydra. Starting off with a Lava Hound and the Blimp. Let's see how this goes. Oh my goodness, straight into a sweeper. And it hits an air mine. Um, it seems like he's letting it all die. How are you just gonna not place invisibility spells on the key troops that you... Bro, let's see how he deals with all these super minions, though. He has... He puts in king and queen. He has to deal with... Oh, gosh. Yo, invis that. You have no use for the invises at this point, bro. Okay, the queen's just getting decimated. Yeah, that thing is already dead. He stalls every single one of his spells. No poison, no nothing to help out for the clan castle. Just the baby dragon even dying right here. He can't deal with this clan castle. This is so awful. Okay, the dragon. Oh my gosh, they lock on to the level 50 warden and it's, it gets forced. The warden ability is forced. I repeat. Oh my goodness. This is such an awful attack, bro. Let's see what he does from here. He's kind of just letting his warden and dragon work in here. And he spams in all the balloons. Spams in all the dragons and the dragon riders. Gonna finally use his spells for once. Clone spells, absolutely nothing. Only got one dragon worth out of each of those. Very weird. Like, it's everything's just going down right now. So awful. He went into it with a plan. I'll give him that. But it was so badly executed. I'd give it about a two because his mind was in the right place. He just had really bad execution and he shouldn't have gone with the blimp where he did. Let's move on to the next one of this war. And one that I found to be quite shocking was this one by Sithy. So here we go. We have Sithy. <laughs> They're number 14 versus our number 10. Look at this army, guys. He has healers, Pekkas, Electro Dragons, Valkyries, Golems, and Witches. Not to mention the freaking spells, dude. Like, what is that? He's running one of every spell. And the best part is, I couldn't rig this if I wanted to. These people aren't in my clan. It's the opponent. This is a real player. So let's see what he does. Okay, queen. Oh, the two healer queen charge. This is going to be lovely. He has a golem into tank. That's at least something, I guess. Oh, shoot. Where's the warden going? Oh, my gosh. He has the earthquake boots on the warden. <laughs> what is going on here? Okay, that king is already dead. The queen isn't even walking in. Oh, my gosh. Puts in the level one electro dragon. Oh my, enrages the golem. That golem is doing work, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, over here. He had the recall spell on the... He just recall spell, and then he froze afterwards? Okay, gonna wall wrecker. Heal spells the wall wrecker! And jump spells! Come on! I have never seen anything like that in my life. A heal spell on a wall wrecker and a jump spell. That was beautiful. That attack was one of its own, really. Like, look at the amount of troops he used here. 25% zero star. It really takes skill to be that bad at the game. Guys, I'm honestly interested in what Sithy attack on the other one. Are we gonna have to watch another Sithy attack? But this attack was a straight up, like, negative five. Negative five for Sithy. That was awful. But it was so funny to watch. Let's move on to a different one. We'll see a different person's and then come back to Sithy's other attack and see how bad it is. The other one that I thought was really interesting was this one right here. Fitz versus Sevens Oon Gamer, number 10 versus number 11, one star, 73%. It was, again, the enemy attackers, not my clanmates this time. But look at this army, dude. Just look at that thing. We got healers, dragons, pekkas, miners, hog riders, and bowlers with 11 lightning spells. How did these guys beat us in the clan war? How does that happen? Let's see this attack, though. Oh, I accidentally have it in 2x. Slow it down to 1x and see what okay he takes out the air defenses with a ground army yep all the air defenses just going down with your pekka army dude shadow army is truly some of the most no no disrespect by the way but what is this and how did they beat us and he throws in oh my what is even happening what is happening 
He has giants <laughs> pushing into the core. And he just has different sections, like a P.E.K.K.A, a dragon, and a healer on this side. And then he's got, like, another, like, firing squad over here. But yeah, everything's just petering out right at the end. Welcome back to Daddy Clashes. Look at my forehead! Oh my god, my hair! I need fake hair. Sorry guys, that was just a little sneak peek to next video. But I'll rate that attack about a... Mm, 4 out of 10. He didn't do terrible, but he didn't do great. Also, his army composition sucked. But let's move on to the final Sithy attack. He's running about the same army. Just a little variation. He put in ice golems. Took out a few Valkyries and golems. Probably more bowlers. And obviously, still the same stupid spells. Okay. Starting off with the Queen Walk with two healers, as usual. And that thing probably isn't going to be alive for long. <laughs> its ability is getting forced as we speak. And yeah, ability is already gone. He recalls but misses the healers. So now we got a Witch Walk. <laughs> Ice Golem. Oh, Valkyries too. Activates the Eagle Artillery and puts the Wall Wrecker in. Come on, jump spell that. Jump spell that, just like you did. I'm surprised to see he didn't jump spell and heal spell it. Oh my gosh. He has to deal with an enemy CC right now. I don't think he's made it this far in his life. Uh, but he has the clan castle in there with the yetis. So. But he pops back in the recall. Big chunk of his army. This is the main firing power right here. Obviously still a really stupid attack. Um, and he's not using the warden ability for some reason. Okay, finally pops the warden ability after everything else is dead. This is what we love to see from Sithy. I'm honestly going to miss Sithy. Because this is the only two clan war attacks I can get from him. He's not in my clan. But hey, he took the town hall down. I'll give him props for that one. And he just, he, he died. He didn't do awful. He did better than last time where he got 25% zero star. He can definitely improve. He's got a bright future ahead of him. Maybe not. But that attack was significantly better than the last one. I'll give it a 3 out of 10. I'm going to do the outro inside Sithy's base. That's going to do it for Sithy, and that's going to do it for this video. I don't know if you realized, but we're about 10 subscribers away from 1k, and I can't thank you guys enough. So if you're new here, you can help me out by hitting that subscribe button. If you want to help, but if you don't, it's fine. You watch my video. But if you want to help even more than just subscribing, you can also click the like button, because that's going to push it out there to more people and get viewed by others. So that is also greatly appreciated. But on a real note, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night. And, uh, bye-bye.